One of the things I've been so proud about this community, both this year and in the past, is that when we come together, great things happen. And this year was no exception. Over a year ago, as COVID hit our community and our world, the Federation, along with our partners at OJCF, saw the opportunity to really support our entire community and really the Jewish community across the state of Oregon. And together, along with our agency partners and synagogue partners, we were able to provide incredible services, not just to the organizations, but to the individuals that each agency and partner and synagogue supported to make sure that we were able to provide in a way like we've never done before. One of the key things of this past year is that it made us look at everything differently. How we operate, what programs and services we provide, ways that we can enhance this Jewish community going forward. The essence of our work is about people, but we do this through our organizational system and institutions that we help fund to make this a reality. One of the things that I've been saying for over a year now is that I have never been the director of a preschool during a pandemic before. And when Rachel Nelson at Federation suggested that we have this preschool cohort of other Jewish directors in the community to kind of navigate the waters together, it was, I mean, life-changing. I mean, it really was life-changing. So much of our, our lives is our work and um, the collaboration that we've had with the other directors in terms of making sure that the whole Jewish community and all of the Jewish uh, children in our community of Greater Portland are taken care of in a way that includes all of the thoughts and intentions of all of these different preschool directors has been absolutely wonderful. And Rachel has really given us the space and the time to nurture these relationships and to guide them. And everything we've asked for, for the larger community support um, has happened and Federation has been just so gracious in creating that, that community for us. It has been wonderful. Uh, when I received the Sussman Scholarship, I was able to focus a lot more on my Jewish community and being able to be more involved rather than just uh, working or college. So I was able to uh, be able to balance a lot more. And uh, through that, I met a bunch of amazing people through Hillel and Akiva and even um, like Jewish friends through my sorority as well. I, close to a year ago, um, our organization was reached out by the Jewish Federation in hopes that we could come together and really talk about the issues that have affected the Latin American community in Oregon and how much hatred we've experienced as a, as a community. It was really great to be able to participate in these meetings and learn from the struggles that other communities have faced, right? Not just the Latin American community, but the LGBTQ plus community, members of the Jewish community, members of the African American community, um, Asian American communities, and so on. The Jewish Federation has been great at being able to bring people together and to open up a space in which different communities can really come and, and speak from a place of honesty and really tell what hatred looks like for each one of these communities. I have been able to create partnerships that I hope they are longstanding and, and I have been able to engage with folks that I don't usually have the opportunity to engage with. And that is really thanks to, you know, this really hard work and this really massive project that the Federation has decided to embark on and that I'm very thankful that they've invited us to be a part of this. So my husband and I moved back to Portland in March of this year. And coming back to being involved with the Jewish Federation was incredible for us, and especially for me, because it's where my Jewish involvement and leadership began when I was in my 20s, when I was part of the Young Women's Division of Federation. And so now I'm coming back 20 years later, getting involved as one of the leaders. The mission of Dignity Grows is to provide women menstruators, particularly is the term, with feminine hygiene products. And now we have a chapter in Portland, which I'm the lead of and very proud to be, so we can support our community. I got involved when the pandemic struck. Uh, the Federation put out some calls for people to make phone calls to people in the community who 
uh, may have been isolated. So I made some of those phone calls. And as a result of that, I got connected with Ken. And he lived here alone and needed someone to help with grocery shopping each week. So we got connected and we went from there. And uh, I shopped for Ken every week for, for the next year. Yeah, he did. And very well. Yeah, I view my friendship with Ken as really one of the bright spots it's, of it's been the fun. pandemic. Yeah, uh, it's been great. I got to know someone I didn't know before, and we got to share stories about our families, about our lives, and so it was more than grocery shopping. I think we really got to, to yeah. form a friendship. Uh, we're still friends, Yeah, and we see each other now and then, and I'm sure that if I had a problem, I could call him and I'm sure he got the same kind of service as before. I cannot be more proud of the work that we've accomplished over this past year. It has not been easy, but we made it happen because we care. We care about our Jewish community. In the near term, we're looking at adding to our local service system, to providing more for Jews on the east side, to be doing more for people of, uh, for senior citizens in our community. We're looking at making sure that when we can finally come together and be together, that we have worthwhile programs and services available to you. Our work is never finished, and there's more that we can do together.